This is going to be an unboxing video of the Starlink device. I'm here in the Philippines and they just rolled out Starlink here in the Philippines in the fourth quarter of last year. I actually signed up to be on a waiting list October 18th of 2022. I just received this today. It came by DHL. I've never used a Starlink, but it's timely because here in the garage, we can get fiber internet here. Uh, and I had to come out here, but they wanted to wait. I need to put up some steel poles so they can run their fiber up, you know, the last quarter mile here. So that's kind of on hold. Let's go ahead and take a look what we got. It's a pretty big box. I'll go ahead and open it up here with my rusty nail. Got a big cardboard cushion. And it looks like the first thing I'm taking out of the box is the base of the antenna. And the next thing is the actual dish, which really isn't a dish from what I'm used to. You know, I'm used to the old school satellite dishes. And it's, it's quite heavy. This is probably, I don't know, eight pounds. It looks like it's got quite a lot of cable with it. I'm not sure how long this is, maybe 100 feet. And it looks like a micro USB connector on there. I'm gonna set the dish back in here. And this looks like, oh, it's, a, it's the Starlink router. Looks like I've got a three prong electrical hookup for and me. another mini USB female connection to cool. connect the antenna. Uh, and here we have the directions. And then you pair that with the app and then you know, just plug and play. Let's see if I can get this connected. So there's a keyway in the base, so you can't put it on wrong. And that just snaps right into place. I'm gonna move some things around here and get this box off. There goes the router. So we have our dish. And the damaged router. No, just kidding. Got our router right here. Get rid of that. This should be pretty simple. This is just a micro USB. Make sure you got the key right, plug right in. And then we have the power cord. They have a kind of a nice gasket here to prevent. I'm sure it's not, you know, it's not rainproof or waterproof, but it's, let's just say weatherproof and plug that right in there. So stand by, I'm gonna go get some power and we'll see what happens when we plug it in. And back, we have power. Now I'm gonna use the app on my phone and see, I'm using the, the Starlink app here. And then when you open the app, it says, start setup. Oh, there it goes, look, it's moving. And then it says, select your Starlink. I think I've got this one here. Confirm. Check for obstructions. There are none. Tap check for constructions to find a location for your Starlink. So I'm gonna check, see what happens. Starlink would like to access your camera. Okay. Find an open area, go outside where you intend to set up your Starlink. Scan the entire sky. Oh, use your device's camera to explore your Starlink's entire field of view. I'm ready. Point your camera up. This is weird. Now I'm scanning. Good thing I'm in my chair. <laughs> I'm scanning the entire sky here. It's still daytime, mind you, you know. It's dusk. It's kind of showing me places that I missed that I'll go back. Yeah, that's weird. It shows you it shows you the parts of the sky that you missed and you go back. Now it says re view results. Now it says loading. This may take a moment the first time you open the app. The message says that this is a great place for your Starlink. Shop for mounts. No, don't need that. Try a new location. Don't need that. Set up Starlink. I'm gonna hit it again, start setup. Okay, I'm gonna select it again, confirm. I have a location, 
plug in your Starlink. The light on the bottom of your router will illuminate. Your Starlink will tilt automatically. Next, join network. Join your Starlink Wi-Fi network. It may take about 30 seconds for it to appear. Then open Wi-Fi settings. All right, Wi-Fi settings. I see one, it says S-T-I-N-K-Y. I don't know if that's it. It's stinky? I, I didn't make that up. It says stinky. Unable to join the network, stinky. Okay, I'll try again. I'm gonna go back to the app, see what happened here. Open Wi-Fi settings. It may be because I have my VPN on the phone. So I'm gonna go here, turn off my VPN. That's off. I'm still illuminated here with power. Join network. Okay, so I joined Stinky. It's, that's a, I don't know, it's unfortunate name for a Wi-Fi network. S-T-I-N-K-Y. But it did join it. So I'm gonna go back to Starlink and Starlink detected that I'm connecting. Please wait a moment. Name your network protected with a password. Okay, I'm gonna do that. Okay, I set the password and the, and the name of the network and now it's rebooting. Your Starlink is rebooting to apply your network settings. This take about 30 seconds and you can see the dish is maneuvering around. 60%, 75%, 90%, 100%. Now it shows my network name and my password and it wants me to connect to that new SSID that I previously defined. And it's prompting me to enter the new password. Join. I have joined my new network. I'm gonna go back to the Starlink app and see what else it says. Setup complete. It says you're all set. And it has a done button. So I'm gonna press the done button. Downloading update. So what I'm, what I'm reading here is that it's gonna check its location. It's gonna calibrate its settings. It should stabilize within 15 minutes. And then I have a menu here of statistics, network, obstructions. I can run a speed test right from the app, uh, a settings menu, a support menu, and a shop menu. But it tells me I do have a, a good network, one device on my network at, at, this mo at this point, which is my phone, and I'm still downloading an update. So once this update downloads, I'll come back and let you know what happens. So I was looking through some of the settings because I wasn't getting much throughput, though I was connected. So I ran through the settings and I went under advanced and then I, I selected reboot Starlink and now I'm gonna reboot Wi-Fi. Right now I'm showing Starlink is disconnected. The router is green. Okay, my Starlink came up green, my router's green, my device is green. And previously I had a address error and I checked the address and it's correct. I'm in Quezon, Philippines. But after rebooting, that error went away and now I have a calibrating Starlink message. So that's a good thing. It's giving me the 15 minute advisory for calibration. So I'm going to wait some more and see what happens. You know, one, one of the funny things I found on Starlink, uh, when I was browsing the advanced settings, there was a setting called snow melt. It gives you the option, continue snow melt, turn off snow melt. So I turned off snow melt. I don't think we're gonna have snow here if we do. We've got real problems.